Assalamualaikum. Today we are going to discuss about question 2, vertical consolidated statement of profit or loss. On 1st August 2010, Dewa Berhad acquired 90% of the ordinary shares of Kaya Berhad when the retained profit of Kaya Berhad was 800 million. The goodwill for this acquisition was 20 million and 10% was impaired in the current year. On 1st September 2014, four years later, Kaya Berhad acquired 40 million of 50 million ordinary shares in Senat Berhad for 80 million. <coughs> so 40 million out of 50 million is 80%. On that date, the carrying amount of Senat Berhad net asset reflected their fair value except for land. The carrying amount of the land was 25 million and it was revalued to 30 million. So there is a revaluation reserve of 5 million. At the end of the year, the fair value of the land had increased by another 3 million. So this 3 million is actually post-acquisition asset revaluation reserve. Senang Berhad did not incorporate the fair value in its accounts. Even below are the statement of profit or loss and statement of changes in equity of Mewah Berhad, Kaya Berhad, Senang Berhad. For the year ended 31st December 2000. So we are given the statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st December 2014 that comprise of revenue, cost of sale, gross profit, operating expenses, other income, and we have also dividend from subsidiary that has been highlighted in blue color. So dividend from subsidiary, it means mewah receive dividend from Kaya and Kaya receive dividend from Senang. And also there is a dividend of 2.5 million from Aman Berhad. On top of that, uh, we can find also finance cost, <coughs> the addition, and at the end we find the profit for the year. Remember that acquisition of the second company is on 1st September 2014 and the date of statement of profit or loss is 31st December 2014. So it means the second acquisition, that this acquisition of uh, ordinary shares in Senang by Kaya Berhad is only how many months before the year end? September, October, November, December. Only four months before the year end. So the pre acquisition period is eight months. And the post acquisition period is only four months. We are also provided with statement of changes in equity for the year ended 31 December 2014. That comprise of written profit brought forward, profit for the year, ordinary dividend paid in December 2014, and written profit carry forward. Okay, but we have to <clears throat> uh, very careful to be very careful about the profit for the year of Senang Berhad of 200 and 91,000 yeah, because uh, 291,000 is for one year. Okay, 291,000 is for one year. And um, the post acquisition period is only four months. Additional information the policy of the group is to measure the non controlling interest at fair value at the acquisition date and the fair value of non controlling interest of Kaya Berhad and Senang Berhad as follows. A 10% holding in Kaya Berhad on 1st August 2010 for the non control interest is 200 million and 20% holding in Senang Berhad on 1st September 2014 is 20 million. Number two, Mewah acquired 25% ordinary shares in Aman Berhad on 1st April 2014 for 30 million and this 25% is not the subsidiary, this is an associate. Okay, actually, associate. We are going to learn associate in, uh, in the next topic. On this date, the carrying amount of net asset of Aman Berhad reflected their fair values except for building. The fair value of this building was 8 million more than its carrying amount and the remaining useful life of the building was 10 years. Okay, so you can see that there is a 10 million set revaluation reserve. Okay, and it also affects 
the value of depreciation because there is a remaining useful life of 10 years. On 1st January 2014, the retained profit of Aman Berhad was 65 million and its profit after tax for the year <coughs> ended 31 December 2014 was 24 million. At the end of the year, the recoverable amount of investment in Aman Berhad was less than its carrying amount by 1 million. Number three, on 1st January 2012, Mewa Berhad sold a machine with a carrying amount of 11 million to Kaya Berhad for 15 million. So there is a profit of 4 million. On that date, the remaining useful life of the machine was four years. The machine is still in Kaya Berhad book as at 31 December 2014. So what are the implication of this? The implication is the first one, there is an unrealized profit of 4 million. And the second one is there is an over provided depreciation of 1 million for every year because the remaining useful life is 4 years. 4 million unrealized profit divided by 4 years. So it is equal to 1 million over provided depreciation every year. On 2000, in 2013, Kaya Berhad sold goods to Mewa Berhad at a profit of 5 million. The unrealized profit in the opening inventory of Mewa Berhad was 200 million. Okay, so sorry, 200,000. So there are two uh, unrealized profit. Okay, the first one is unrealized profit on the closing inventory, 5 million. And the second one is unrealized profit on opening inventory of 200,000. During the post acquisition period, Senang Berhad sold goods to Mewa. For 43 million at the profit of 3 million. At the end of the year, half of this good remain unsold. So the unrealized profit that still in the inventory is. 3 million times 50%. <clears throat> it is the group policy to depreciate all asset using straight line method, giving fully a depreciation in the year of purchase and none in the year of disposal. All profits and losses are deemed to accrue evenly throughout the year. Let's look at the question. A. Prepare the consolidated statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And B. Prepare the consolidated statement of changes in equity for the year ended 31st December. 2014, showing group retained profit and not contrary interest. Okay, let's look at the answer together. Okay, how are we going to start this answer? We're going to start the answer as usual. We are going to identify who is the acquirer. So who is the acquirer in this case? The acquirer is Mewah. Mewah and Kaya. Okay. Mewah acquire Kaya. Kaya acquire Senang. Who is the ultimate parent? The ultimate parent is Mewah. The date of acquisition of Kaya is 1st August 2010. And date of acquisition of Senang is 1st September 2014. It means only four months post acquisition. So what we are going to do for this particular question, for question like statement of profit or loss, we can go straight to start with preparing the consolidated statement profit of profit or loss and other comprehensive income by adding all the line items. By adding all the line items. Yes. Okay. So the revenue, the revenue is revenue of the three companies. Okay, the three companies are Mewa, Kaya, and Senang. So for Mewa and Kaya, we are going to take all the revenue. It means the whole year revenue, but for Senang. For Senang, the revenue is only for four months, 990 times 4 over 12. And this is, um, is a closing. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a sale, yeah? intercompany sale, 43. This is the company sale 43. And then cost of sale also, we are going to take the whole cost of sale of uh, Mewah and Kaya and only four months for Senang. And we minus 43. What is this 43? This 43 is coming from the company purchase. Okay. And 1.5 is the amount of unrealized profit. Okay. What about 0 0.2? Yeah. What about 0 0.2 just now? 0 0.2 is actually the opening 
unrealized profit. The opening unrealized profit. Okay. Next is operating expenses. Operating expenses comprise of operating expenses of the company, uh, three companies, Mewa, uh, Kaya, and Senang. For Senang is only four months. And okay, we have one million of a provided depreciation. You remember that we have a depreciation. We have uh, a disposal, disposal of building. Okay, disposal of building and the building disposal of building result in a an unrealized profit of four million and the remaining useful life is uh, the remaining useful life is how many years the remaining useful life is four years machinery actually it is not a building it is a it is a machinery Next is in payment of goodwill. Since the goodwill is 20 million given in the question, impaired by 10%. So we put here in payment of goodwill uh, 2 million. Other income, okay, other income comprise of other income of the um, other income 20 million. Yeah, other income 20 million. Who's other income? Other income is coming from Mewa. Other income of Mewa, 20 million plus, yeah, plus other income of Senang, yeah, time 4 over 12. And then we have finance cost, yeah, finance cost of the three companies. And for Senang, it is uh, multiplied by 4 over 12. <clears throat> and then we have share of profit of associate. Since this uh, topic is not covered yet, so uh, I would like to tell you that, okay, uh, how are we going to calculate this and how do we get this 3.3? Okay, basically, the current year profit, yeah, the current year profit is uh, 24 million. Yeah, the current year profit is 24 million and the number of months is only, only 9 months, 9 over 12. And then we minus 0 0.8 under provided depreciation, under provided depreciation because of revaluation. And we minus with, uh, we, we multiply with 25%. 25% is actually the percentage of holding. And we minus 1 million impairment of goodwill. Sorry, impairment of uh, investment. Impairment of one of the items. And one of the item in the, in the, Associate, yeah, you can see again from the question one of the items in the uh, the recoverable of investment in Ayman was less one million less than uh, the cost. So actually, this impairment of investment in Ayman, yeah. So we have to minus here one million impairment. And then uh, we arrive at profit before tax, 1056. And then taxation. Taxation is taxation of the three companies. But for Senang, we multiply by 4 over 12. So at the end, we get a profit for the year of 895. But the other comprehensive income, other comprehensive income, we have surplus on fair value of land. Yeah, This is for the post acquisition period, there is a, a surplus of 3 million. And the total comprehensive income is 895 plus 3 million equal to 898 million. Next is to calculate the profit attributable to non controlling interest. And also the total comprehensive income attributable to non controlling interest. Okay. Since we have two subsidiaries, the subsidiaries are Kaya and Senang. So we are going to calculate one by one. <coughs> okay. We are going to calculate one by one. So Kaya Berhad, profit after tax from the question is 350 million um, plus unrealized profit on opening stock and minus dividend income of 12. So the profit, yeah, the profit of yeah, the profit of Kaya Berhad for the year is 338.2 times 10% equal to 33.82. <coughs> and there is an impairment. So impairment is how many percent? Uh, 2 million times 10%. So it is equal to 0 
0 0.2 is the impairment impairment of impairment of uh, goodwill that is belong to non control interest so non control interest for kaya berhad is 33.62 what about senang non control interest for senang okay, we are going to take the profit after tax for the year that is 191 times 4 over 12 that equals to 97 and then we have also unrealized profit for closing inventory 1.5 so the balance of profit to be distributed is 95.5 million times 28 percent the percentage of non-controlled interest so it becomes 26.74 so 26.74 plus 33.62 equals to 60.36 that is the total amount of uh, non-controlled interest out of 895 million 895 million uh, profit after tax so the balance of 834 million and 640,000 belongs to owners of the parent. What about the total comprehensive income? Just now there is an addition of 3 million at the comprehensive income. Does it affect the value of non control interest? Yeah, the value of non control interest okay, is affected by this 3 million because 3 million is coming from the subsidiary okay from senang eh? so 3 million times 38 percent okay will add yeah the amount of 60.36 initially from the profit after tax now become 61.2 million okay next is to to prepare the consolidated statement of changes in equity for the year ended 31 december 2014 for a uh, question like statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. What we are going to do is we need to do the consolidated statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And then we need to prepare consolidated statement of changes in equity. But on top of that, there will be supporting calculation. Supporting calculation for the first one that is calculation of non controlling interest. And for consolidated statement of changes in equity, the supporting calculation is in finding the balance brought forward of group retained profit and non controlled interest so from here so be, before we can construct the consolidated statement of changes in equity what we can do is we find first the balance brought down of retained profit and balance brought down of non controlled interest <clears throat> right So balance brought down of yeah balance brought down of retain profit. We start with mewa. Mewa balance brought down from the equation is one two zero five million, and it has unrealized profit on machine four million, and also over provided depreciation for two years, four million divided by four times two, so two million. Then the group retain profit brought forward is one two zero three million. What about Kaya? Kaya balance brought down is 980 from the equation and there is a pre-acquisition profit of 800 and there is unrealized profit on good 0 0.2 equals to 179.8 million times 90% it equals to 161.82 and the total retained profit brought forward is 1364.82 million. What about the retain? What about the <coughs> non control interest brought forward? non control interest brought forward okay for kaya okay, for fair value of non control interest even in the question is 200 on first set first of first august 2010 and then retain profit starting from first august 2010 up to 31st december 2013 is 179.8 times 10% which to 17 million 980000 so the total is 217 million 980000 What about um, what about the effect of dividend? What about the effect of dividend? So before we look at the effect of dividend, just now we have arrived at the balance brought forward of group retain profit and balance brought forward of um, non-control interest. So we can put those two figures 
in the statement of changes in equity. So we go to the group retained profit column first. Well, let's brought forward for the retained profit is 1364.82 million. And then profit for the year from our calculation just now, 834.64 million. And then ordinary dividend paid by Mewa, 30 million. So balance carried forward for retained profit is 2169.46 million. What about the balance brought forward for non-contrary interest from the question? We get a 217.98 million non-controlled interest brought forward. And then um, uh, we have adjustment for consideration transfer. Consideration transfer because Senang is actually an indirect subsidiary, indirect subsidiary of MEWA. Therefore, um, the investment made by and the investment made by investment made by Kaya, okay, Kaya invest eighty percent in Senang. So whatever investment done by Kaya, okay. 90% belong to mewah and 10% belong to 10% uh, belong to the non controlled interest. So here, non controlled interest has 10% of the 80 million spent by uh, Kaya Berhad. Kaya spent 80 million for purchasing ordinary shares in Senang. So out of 80 million, 10% belongs to non controlled interest. So there is a there is an 8 million here, 8 million in bracket. Yeah. Indirect investment by non controlled interest. And then acquisition during the year is 20 million. And this is actually the acquisition of uh, ordinary share in Senang. Okay. And then the total comprehensive income is 61.2, which comprises of 60.36 plus 0 0.84. And then uh, ordinary dividend is 5. 5 million ordinary dividend paid by the subsidiary and paid to the non control interest. So, how do we get this 5 million? This 5 million is coming from Kaya, 2 million. Yeah. When Kaya um, declared 20 million dividend, 10% belongs to non control interest. And when Senang, when Senang declared dividend of 15 million, 20% belongs to the non controlled interest. So for dividend, we are going to take the original percentage that is 20%, not 28%. So altogether, it is 5 million. So 5 million is put here as a deduction of non controlled interest. So non controlled interest at the end of the year is 286.18. And group return profit is 2169.46. Okay, so that is all for. Question two. So for question two, statement of profit or loss and other compensation income and statement of changes in equity. That is all.